I'm Matt Terry here at Pistons Media Day with Tayshawn Prince. You and I were talking off off mic here. Nine years here. Can you believe? It? Um, yeah, I can believe it. Um, this went fast. I know to a lot of people it might seem longer than nine, especially with all the playoff games and stuff that we we done in the previous seasons. Um, it's a lot more basketball than this being going into my ninth season, but um, not surprised. Uh, it's, it's been quick. And it's come quick. But I'm, I'm, I'm excited about this season, I'll tell you, because, you know, so many things that happened last year was just didn't go the way we planned, and obviously it was a first year for me to experience an opportunity to get hurt, which obviously I've never had the opportunity to experience, so um, I mean, I'm, I'm excited, I feel good, and I'm ready to get training camp on. I know you follow everything in this room. In terms of media, I know you're on the internet. I know you listen to the radio. You, you're, you've not been shy about that. People have said they cannot believe Tayshawn Prince and Rip Hamilton are back still with this team. What's your reaction to that? You know what? Uh, you know, besides the other guy, few guys in the league, um, it's, it's surprising in today's game to see a, the same individual in the same uniform for this amount of time. But I think the things that really are skeptical um, as far as, as to, to people is the fact that uh, how well we played and, you know, what happened the last two years when people were expecting, you know, Joe D was just to go ahead and break it up and, and, and start, you know, start fresh and, and start you know, building the ground back up. But um, obviously he's chose a different route. Um, that's not to say something might not happen throughout the, the course of the year, but, um, you know, People who are Piston fans, uh, the, the real true Piston fans, are happy to see me and Rip back. Uh, and, but, but the most important thing is we just got to go out and play basketball and have some fun. And, you know, we didn't have fun last year. Like I said, injuries was a big part of it. But, you know, it's, it's time to put that behind us and, and, and not throw, use that as an excuse and just go out and have some fun and lead these young guys and try to get the Piston basketball where, back where it used to be. What does Tayshawn Prince want in the final year of his contract? Do you want to stay here? People have said you, you and Joe have a very good relationship, and I know you talked to him. What have you told him? Because guys on you know the last year of their deals sometimes maybe do get moved or, or, or get discussed in trade. Well, my thing is I want to, to come back. I wanted to not sort of redeem myself from last year because you know you can't you can't you know injuries happen. It's part of the game. So there's nothing I can take from that. Take away from that. It just happened. And, and I'm trying to move forward from that. And, and one thing I'm trying to do is go out here and, and get off to a fresh start and, and try to start playing basketball the way I'm, I'm capable of playing. Um, but also throughout, do it throughout the whole season like I'm accustomed to. Uh, but as, as, as far as, you know, being moved and stuff like that, I've, I've never had that in the back of my mind as far as being moved. You know, who knows what will happen in free agency. all know this is a business. I know that, you know, one day, to say if it's next year, two, three, four years down the road, but, uh, you know, we have an Austin Day, we have a uh, uh, Dewan Summers, we have a Jonas Trevor Owen, and, and, and Jody has put these guys into place in case I do get moved in, in, in a trade, before a trade deadline, or a free agency, I decide to go elsewhere. But at the same time, I've always wanted to be here. Um, I'm one of those guys, when I got drafted, I wanted to be at the same place my whole entire career, uh, going into my ninth season, and like I said before, not too many players have the opportunity to be with a team for nine seasons, so let alone, uh, you know, so, you know, we'll see what happens, and, um, but like I said, most importantly, I'm ready, and I'm excited for this season, and I'm ready to get back to playing basketball, and uh, I know I can. Do you have to start, or do you not care about that stuff? As you mentioned, there's a lot of guys playing the same spot as you. Of course I want to start what player doesn't want to start? Somebody say, nah, I don't want to start. That's, you know, they, they being foolish or they're not, they, they not being trusted or they're being truthful. I want to start. Austin want to start. Tracy want to start. You know, Juan Summers want to start. Jonas Ru I mean, we, and that's what we're going to fight. And that's what we're training camp. Uh, training camp is not just to, to, to get back into the group of things or to, to get the offensive plays and the defensive strategies in. It's to, to earn your playing time. And that's what we're 
that's what each and every one of us is going to do. But if you ask me on the start, of course I do. I'm Tishon. As always, appreciate it, brother. Oh, not a problem.